Hey, hello again, whiskey friends. Thanks for joining me, everybody, for another Tuesday discussion. So here on Tuesdays, we do like to produce videos that come directly from questions and comments that we get on either YouTube, Instagram, or through our Patreon. And today's topic was coming from somebody who really isn't interested in how in-depth we get in our reviews. If you've watched our reviews, we really like breaking things down. We got a scoring system behind the scene that's got these 10 different metrics, and that's ultimately what creates our overall scores. But this commenter's like, uh -uh, I don't really care about all these metrics. I just care about flavor. So can you give me some recommendations on pours that taste good, but I can also find them and they're affordable? So that's going to be the basis for today's list. And let's break each one of these down one by one. So thank you for joining me today, Whiskey Friends. Let's kick off the show. And just like every Tuesday discussion, I like to have a pour with you while I'm talking as well. And I've got one of the ones on the list in the Glen today. So cheers, everyone. So let's kick this list off. Once again, these are going to be five affordable pours. Now, I classified as affordable as being $60 or less, though some of these are much cheaper than that. But we'll go through the stats each way. And ultimately, we are concentrating only on the flavor scores within our documentation. So these five pours scored the highest on the flavor metrics while still being affordable. First one I'm going to highlight here is the Bardstown Origin Series, specifically the Bottled and Bond release. This is a 100 proof release that came out this year, six years old, and gosh, on the palate to me, this is all peaches and cream, vanilla icing, essentially on a cinnamon pound cake. So that is very, very delicious. And one other thing I've been very impressed with, going recently on a tour at Bardstown, we went on the barrel thieving tour, got to try this at Cast Strength as well. They had about a five-year barrel there for us to taste. Oh, man, this is only going to get better. And what I also saw is with the Discovery 11, they're using this in the blend of that new Discovery series, ultimately becoming a pretty epic fusion, just now called Discovery as these things get older. They blended it with some, what looked like the mash bill of some schmiled shturkey. Uh, and wow, that was really, really good too. But the Bottled and Bond is one of my favorite releases, and that, that costs, oh, somewhere between $50 and $60. Next one I'm going to highlight is a rye whiskey. This is the Jack Daniels Bonded Rye. Yet again, another bottled and bond product, 100 proof. This ran me $30 to $35 for a 700 milliliter. And what I particularly love about this one, which is also in the Glen right now, by the way, it is everything I want from Jack Daniels Rye. It's got that nice banana wafer pudding going on. I love a good banana pudding with those Nilla wafers in it. Oh my gosh, does that take me back to the 4th of July in childhood? And that's ultimately what I get from this Jack Daniels. I think the rye is my favorite of the three releases between the, the bottled and bond bourbon, the uh, triple mash, which I like. I know that one's quite divisive. But I think this one is my favorite, and this is going to be the cheapest one on the list, right there between $30 to $35. Another one that I'm going to highlight, this one's going to be affordable, though maybe not as obtainable, depending on your area. But I do got to shout it out. This is one of my surprises of the year as well. You may not recognize the label or the brand name, but it's called Silver Grove. It's a four-year bourbon coming out of new riff and this was like a special release this year still in the gift shop today and the unique thing about this one is the fact that a four years old but cast strength 
at 113.5 proof. But it's the mash bill that brings this thing out. 65% corn, 30% malted rye, 5% malted barley. So it's that malted rye aspect that really gives this thing its flavor. Comes across to me as essentially a, a blood orange uh, cream cheese dip. If you think about those dips that sometimes other people bring to parties that you can dip some cookies in or dip uh, pretzels in or something like that. Ah, I get I get a lot of those type of flavors on there, specifically when it comes to this smooth blood orange. And that one there in the gift shop, once again, between I think 50 and $60. It might be $59.99. Next one on the list, yet again, another big surprise. I'm going to go with the Old Line American Single Malt. Now, I might be cheating on this one a little bit. This is a pick specifically from a bar in Baltimore called Bar Flies. But they did sell it to me for $50. It's a real price tag right there. Now, this is a cash strength American Single Malt. Uh, proof here was 62.9%. So what are we talking about there? About 125.8 proof, implying I can do math on the fly. Uh, $50, this was a pick. Single malt, they are sourcing it, interestingly, from Ohio. I'm not entirely sure on the source. Maybe it's Middle West. I don't know, but I do think it's interesting that it is coming from my home state as well. But it took me going to Baltimore to try Old Line to figure out how amazing of an American single malt this is. Uh, I don't know the age on this one, but man, I wouldn't be surprised. Seven, eight years old. Once again, for $50, a very, very good American single malt. So what was interesting as I go through this list as well, I highlighted a weeded bourbon off the top, highlighted a rye, highlighted a malted rye bourbon, then highlighted a single malt. Let's take it home. Let's be a bit more traditional. What is the highest scoring review in terms of flavor and affordability amongst all of our reviews this year? It's going to be Knob Creek. Specifically, a single barrel called Beam Tack. But really, really enjoy this pour. The flavors on this one just go on for days. It's got that peanut brittle that you'd expect from Jim Bean, but it's also got this slight cherry. It even starts delving into root beer and Dr. Pepper and tobacco and leather and espresso, and it brings every bit of that nine years. Delicious pour. Now, I am specifically highlighting this single barrel because this is the one that scored the highest so far this year in terms of flavor and underneath that essentially a $60 price. But whenever I'm out of town, I also always like getting these Knob Creek picks from various stores. I know they'll never let me down, and I have no remorse you know, finishing them over the course of the vacation. So there you have it. Those are five pours that are affordable, but also scored very highly on our flavor metrics. So let me know what you think in the comments of these five pours, how they rank for you if you tried them before, if you're going to try them now that they popped up on this list. And what would you recommend outside of these five? And give us the reason why. I always like to hear people's thought processes when they give us the comments. And if you have any other questions, any other lists, any other topics that you'd like to see us handle on one of these Tuesday discussions, be sure to bring it up, get to it as soon as I can. So thank you for joining me today, Whiskey Friends. I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody.